what we know about Chattanooga is that they um, they have been battle tested. There's no question about that. Not only in their league, but from the very beginning. Uh, Matt McCall has got a great background in Florida with Billy Donovan and took over the job at Chattanooga and with a veteran team and has done an outstanding job. They opened up the season winning at Georgia. They won at Illinois. They won at Dayton. Um, we saw them on film early in the season when we played Kennesaw State. That was our common opponent outside of Illinois. And um, you can't help but follow the team you know, throughout the year. I haven't seen them play a lot during the year. Uh, well, tonight, but the um, team wins 29 games and wins in the league the way that they did. I mean, you've got to have great respect for that, and we do. So there's no question that when you get into this time of year, uh, you're going to play an outstanding team in the first round. And, and uh, it only, if you're, if you're fortunate enough to keep moving forward, it keeps moving up that same way. But uh, we know that they can score um, at a high level. They're averaging 76 points a game. The thing that jumps out at me right away is the fact that they have uh, made more free throws than their opponents have attempted. And I think, uh, I think we did the same thing in, in our team uh, in 2013, but that, that is a, uh, I think we did, but that is a huge staple of an aggressive physical team. Uh, uh, they've got good balance. Uh, with McLean and Tuyoy, they really rebound the ball at a high rate. Uh, they can score, you got two all league guys, you got a defensive player of the year there. Um, they shoot the ball pretty well. And uh, what I remember from the films, and again, I'll have a much better view next time we get together of them. But what I remember is they have very good balance of scoring. Uh, they've got the Florida style where they can press and do numerous things there. And, um, and again, they look extremely well coached to me. And they have a young man on their staff named Peter Gash that was on our staff uh, his second year, or our second year here. And uh, then ended up being in Florida Atlantic and moved on to Florida and then to, to Chattanooga. So that's a, that's a very good band of, or brand of basketball when you, when you look at the teams that are in their league with East Tennessee State and Citadel, people like that. So um, again, I mean, it's, uh, we'll get familiar with them in a hurry and um, we'll look forward to it. Go ahead. Do you, I guess you studied them before as a process of studying an opponent, essentially. Like when you play Kennesaw State, you watch Kennesaw State play Chattanooga. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I mean, I guess it's at some level is it is it coming back kind of quickly, just sort of saying these things are you recognize you stand out. I studied their numbers. I studied a group of numbers actually last night. Late, theirs was one of them, and so but I didn't study the film, and um, and so we'll, we will learn a lot more. I mean, that's the best I can give you right now. Were you surprised? Fourth, where you seated? Did you think you might be a four? The only thing I'm really excited about is that I was smart enough to bring our Big Ten championship trophy down to the room when, when, into the into the team room, uh, and I'm glad it was down there because we needed a quick visual reminder that we were a Big Ten champion, and um, so um, I'll leave that for other people to talk about. But I'm proud of what this team has done. I don't think there's any question about that, and 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 um, Villanova went eight and one on the road in their league. Okay, ourselves, Michigan State, Kansas, people like that, they went six and three on the road in their league. I mean, we've, we've gone through a, a tough league. And, um, and I'm proud of the way these guys are in their championship. So um, I, I can't, I, you know, the last couple of years, I know we were a one seed after we won it. I know Michigan was a two seed after they won it. I know Wisconsin was a one seed after they won it. I don't have much more to add other than that. I mean, you, you I saw John Calipari's interview with ESPN. I said, you gotta go play the games. He's exactly right. So here we go. You talked about that Florida style and maybe that ability to press, but is it is it sometimes harder to prepare for a team that has an effective press but doesn't use it all the time? And so you have to kind of always stay so switched on mentally because it might not be there for a stretch and then suddenly they switch. We've handled pressure. We've handled pressure all year. We, we practice, we, we prepare for pressure. So we don't we don't play it as much. We have it, but um, we prepare for it. I mean, we see it. I know. I don't think it's going to be um, a lot different than seeing I was press or people like that. I mean, but they uh, they have the ability to do different things. Um, but like I said, I'll have a much better understanding. I haven't had any time to get into the film yet. So and and certainly our players haven't seen any film yet. So um, I'll be able to answer that much better later. You can talk. What's, a lot what's about the big focus for you guys in, in these next few days as far as? Things you care about as far as yourselves as opposed to opponents. Build on what we've done since we've been home. You know, we had a great practice last night. We had a very informative film session today and and uh, weightlifting session and things of that nature and, and conditioning. So we'll just uh, I got to plan that out tonight. You know, it, it, um, I, I have my ideas 
and probably won't adjust them much. You know, you have to wait till you see what you're going to have on a Thursday or Friday. We know we're going to play Thursday night now, what, correct? 7-10. Yeah, so, so um, we'll set the tone with that. We'll leave sometime Tuesday. That will all get uh, um, uh, laid out tonight. I mean, they're in the process of doing that right now. So it's a balance of making sure that, that we keep improving based on what we've got to get better at, which is exactly what we did last night. Start preparing for this team and put all our focus on Chattanooga. This is not a situation where we start getting ready for three games, or three teams. I mean, we'll get ready for Chattanooga. If we're fortunate enough to win that one, we'll take care of the next game. We'll get ready for that one after. You, you talked about just the team's ability to live in the moment, live in the day, is, but is there any added burden just because it is Kentucky potentially looming in that? Side? Well, I think we're all just gonna focus on Chattanooga, and I think that's the most important thing. So I think, um, um, I'm not sure burden is a word. I don't think anybody looks at anything like a burden. I think we, I think everybody looks at this season like just take it, uh, take the next day. They've been extremely resilient, and um, they're very good at, 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 at being focused. So I think that's that's what the key thing is. And I think um, we're only guaranteed one game right now, and that's against Chattanooga on Thursday night. So that's the most important thing, and the only thing we'll get ready for. What do you feel like you guys learned as a group, you know, players and coaches from last year's? Tournament. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's. I'm not sure that's anything that really comes into fruition when you get into the next year. That's been almost 360 some odd days. So, the players have the experience of it. I think the biggest thing in, in, in that you have to learn, and this is something we talked about as a staff because it was even the other day. You know, when you when you play in the league, you're either at home, right, in front of 17,000 fans, you know, with that energy, or you're on the road, you know, with whatever fans they have and that energy, right. So there's that home and road. Feel when you get into these neutral environments, and the other day it was like that as well. It's a big arena, right? There were Indiana fans, there were Michigan fans, and um, it, but it, but it's not it's not one of those home road environments. You got to learn how to play in those environments. I've never been to the Des Moines Arena, and so you get into the big arenas, and and um, it's not all for you. It's not all for the other team, and it's a lot of times not even all the way full, right? So you've got to be able to deal with that, and you got to be able to create your own energy and emotion and you got to be able to really stay locked in I mean the other day um, we didn't play a great game we made a defensive mistake that we don't make right and and, and what I want what we want these guys to understand is the game the result comes down and really looks it, it appears that it comes down to one or two plays and miss free throw here uh, you know rotation there but it's really the plays inside of the game and it's getting them to truly understand you can't have empty possessions. Now you might miss, but you better have an aggressive possession. You can't, you can't allow the team to go on runs, the other team to go on runs. You can't give up open shots. I heard Bill Self say this when we were uh, watching that marathon of a, uh, of a, uh, of a, of a show, uh, that you've got to be able to make open shots, right? I mean, you've got to be able to go make those open shots when you go into an arena. And, you know, that's, you want them really comfortable doing that. And, and, um, um, you got to take care of the ball, right? But you, at the same time, you've got to be able to create some easy baskets off the other team's turnovers or misses. So, but those are not things you just learn from the year before. Those are things you learn throughout the year, you know. So I think that's the most important thing. All right, coach. All right, thank you.